that for you. Your kids dancing their life away. That's why we are on the corner hustling or at the club. So I don't have to do anything for you. They have to declare an epidemic. We die. That's what we do. We, that's normal. We die and we kill each other. That's what happens every day. So don't get surprised. But you don't get this is what happens. And that's how people believe it. When, when we found out that it was another Jewish person, a part of that community, that killed that child, the whole country was shocked. They were shocked. They were saying, well, why would somebody of that community kill this little boy? Something had to be wrong with him. There ain't nothing wrong with you. You kill each other every damn day. Ain't nothing wrong. Oh, yeah, something wrong. See, if this happened 20, 30 years ago, they would think the Klan was in Newark. They would think it was some white supremacists in 1930. The way these black people get knocked off here, they'll be talking about the Klan is in here. Ain't no Klan in here. It's you Negroes. You and your cousins and your aunts and uncles. That you know who they are. Come on. You know who shot this one. You probably know who shot Dawn. Oh, yeah, you people know who did it. Y'all out here in the crowd, you know who did it. And these niggas, and I said it was so bold, they'll be standing out here in the crowd at the damn rally. That's how weak and wicked our community has become. We are standing right next to them. You know the only information we believe is gossip. We take gossip for law. Refuse to read, refuse to study, refuse to look at the newspaper, refuse to get any information. Our information comes through gossip. What you heard in the beauty parlor, getting your hair done. What you heard in the barbershop getting your black out. Standing online waiting to get in the club. But somebody inboxed you on Facebook. That's where your information comes from. Uh, if you're upset, take a spot for you as for the person next to you. Now, I don't care, I'm getting I'm, I'm telling you like it is. That that's, a, that's just how I am. And if it ain't for if, if you upset, it ain't for you as for the person next to you. Take it with a grain of salt. And the only reason I'm speaking to you this way is because we need to get organized. We gotta organize ourselves. We can do this all we want. Somebody will die tomorrow. They'll die after this rally. Somebody get somebody somewhere getting shot right now as we speak. The the poor sister that got killed up there on Clinton Avenue, the boy waited for her in the lot and shot her down. It's all kind of rumors out here about why and all that happened. The, the guy was a sociopath. He's sick. Now I said it. Ain't nobody deserved to be hunted down and murdered. Bottom line. Bottom line. And every time we okay it, then we set up for somebody else to get killed. When we sit in conversations and okay it, and make it seem like it's, there, there's a legitimate reason for this girl to be murdered, then you just set up for somebody else to get murdered. What kind of a sick person pulls out a gun and shoots into a crowd and sees a little girl standing there? Sees a little girl and another lady standing there and got nothing to do with what you're doing. See them there and shoot anyway. What kind of a mentality have we developed that it's okay? Oh, I'm gangster because I did that. Now you gangster because you did that. And then we get all, and then some of, these, some of us ladies, we get all cute, we get happy about that. You know, it make us feel some type of way because we dating some kind of gangster. You heard it in the song. Oh, I'm telling you like it is, man. Because you dating some type of gangster. So you feel okay. So now you're teaching the little boys the only way that they can get respect is if they, you know, gangster. So we, 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 loving, we loving them, we loving them, and we loving them, and they outside committing murder. Got their gun under your pillow. Got their gun under your pillow. They gangster. Gangster how? They can barely pay the rent. That's gangster. They can't starve. And that's gangster about that. Their community is filthy. They standing on blocks. It's garbage everywhere. What's gangster about that? Their name not on the streets. Your name, when you look up your name, it don't say Raheem. It say Sheer. It say Meeker. It don't say Raheem, Rockman, Food. Go ahead, fool, little Mac, whatever your name is, their name ain't up there. You don't own none of the stores, you can't even determine who pick up garbage on that block. So there ain't nothing about that. We have to teach our kids differently, y'all. Differently. And next time there's something going on in City Hall, you, you should be there. I'm going to ask the brother here who, who uh, does the website to put some political information on that website. You can put, keep the pictures and all that because I know, you know, it's all good. I'm not saying nothing about that, but when you go down to page two, 
there should be some information on there about rallies, about something that's going on in the city, uh, a South War reading campaign, something like that, so you can also get involved in, and, and build your mind up as well as look at those stuff. You can find out what the next party is, plus you can find out what the next rally is. You need to balance yourself. So it's called balance. It's called balance. It's okay to go to parties. Don't, don't get me wrong, I'm not bad mouthing. What I'm saying is that you need balance in your life. That means when you go to parties, you also should go to rallies. That when you go to the fashion show, you should also go to meetings. That because you read those magazines, the hair magazines, you should also read magazines about what's going on politically in your country, in your city, in your state. That you should stay abreast of what's happening. Guess what? Everybody else is doing that. You see the people you watching on TV, they doing that. They doing that. You got to do it too. Got to be politically active, y'all. Got to be politically astute. You got to get involved. Uh, so we're going to organize that. I, I tell my brother we're going to organize to name the street, Don Reddick Avenue, Boulevard Street, whatever we're going to do, y'all. But we need y'all to be out there. And if somebody says it shouldn't happen, we need you to be there saying it should happen. And if the ordinance was passed, that all of them stores needed an armed guard, there would have been a cop inside of that Chinese restaurant the night that that happened. If, if the mayor didn't veto that ordinance, there would have been a cop inside of the Chinese restaurant the night that that thing happened. I'm going to say it again. If the mayor would not have vetoed that ordinance, there would have been a cop inside of the Chinese restaurant that night. Here's the sad thing, though. Almost half of us don't have a clue of what the hell I'm talking about. So... The, the idea is you need to be astute about what's going on in your life and instead of getting up like somebody got mad they called and said was you out there councilman you should have been out there no, 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 you was at the Lincoln Park Festival I was at the Lincoln Park Festival the next day with my daughters but I was out there that night but more importantly than that when they vetoed the ordinance where the hell was we to say this is what we wanted was we to say, listen, we need this in our community. We need this in our neighborhood. We need this for our people. You gotta be a part of what's going on, y'all. You gotta be a part of it. If you loved any of these people that died, vow today, from now on, that you're gonna be involved in something political. You're gonna go to some meetings. And when I say political, I don't mean election campaign. It don't mean you don't have to be involved in the election campaign. I mean you have to be involved in what's going on in your neighborhood. You gotta be a part of your block association. Be a part of your building organization if you have one. If you're part of the PTA, be a part of the PTA. Any organization that's in the community, vow to be a part of it. Find out what's going on in your neighborhood and your streets. And I'm going to tell you this. Stop giving love to psychopaths in our community. Stop giving love to these psychopaths. Psychopaths. You know they sick. Stop giving love to them. Chase them out of your neighborhood. Chase them out. Chase them out. There was a lady in Chicago who used to have a sign to walk around the project with the names of the people that was creating havoc in that project and walk around the neighborhood saying, please leave. My kids can't come outside because of you. Please leave. I can't play because you want to hang out on the street and people want to drive by and shoot you, so everybody in danger. Get off my